This is lesson 23 homework of module seven, second grade. I'm going to write a name. Don't forget to write yours. Do that now so you don't forget later. This says measure your hand span and record the length here. Now we're going to measure these in inches because we're gonna use uh, use the inches in this uh, table down here. So we're gonna use the inches for our ruler. And to measure your hand span, you see the picture, how it shows how to do it, from the thumb to the finger. So mine is nine. Put my thumb there. You can see about where my pinky ends, nine. So let's say, if Bobby's doing this homework, Dad's hand span is nine inches. Mom's hand span was seven inches. Zane's hand span, hand, he was eight. And Bobby, Bobby's hand span it's the same as Zane's, also eight inches. All right, and now we're gonna record tallies for the number of people who had each measurement. So we had a nine, a seven, and two eights. So we're gonna to have to call this, we're gonna to have to call this, this eight here, let's call it Let's just call this nine. Let's call it an eight so it'll fit in the table. <laughs> so here we have, uh, and, and if you've got, you might have larger numbers too. You might have even larger numbers than, than, than eight inches, larger measurements. So um, I'm just gonna round mine down to eight. So I have one, two, three eights. I mean, you can even add a box. I could have added a box down here and wrote nine inches and done that. You can add one if you like. But I say I've got three eights and I've got a seven. So what is the most common hand span length? In this case, I've got three of them that are the same, and that's eight inches. So there's more eights than any other number. So eight inches, and this is length, so we want the units, inch. What is the least common hand span length? There's only one seven. The zeros, we're not gonna consider those, just the ones that, that measure, because um, seven would be, the one that had the least, so seven inches. I know that three didn't have any and four had zero. These were all zeros and those are less than one, but we're not gonna count the measurements that didn't have any, that didn't have anybody. So one, seven, three, eight. Ask and answer one comparison question that can be answered using the data above. So make up your own question here. And comparison question means you're going to use words like uh, most, least, um, or uh, what is the difference? How many more? So you could say your question could be how, we know it's what's the most, which one has more, but how, what exactly how many more? So how, let's say how many more, or you could say how many fewer and, and ask a little bit different question. You have to be able to answer your question, so don't make it too hard. How many more had eight inches than seven inches? And two or three here, one there, so two more, right? So two more had eight inches than seven inches. On the next page, we're using a ruler to measure the lines in inches, so don't use the centimeters, those are too close. 
They're too small. We're using the inches. Usually they're about two fingers apart for a second grader. Use the ruler to measure the lines below in inches. Record the data using tally marks on the table provided. So this is the table. So we're going to do the same thing we did on the first page, except we're going to measure these lines, and then we'll tally shorter, longer, equal to. And we'll see what that likes, looks like when we get to it. But for now, we're just going to measure the lines. This ruler has a zero mark, so I have to start my measurements at the zero mark. If yours does not have a zero line, then you're going to have to, you, you'll start at the end of your ruler. So be careful you, which kind of ruler you have and that you're using it right. So this is going to start at the zero line here, and that's closest to the three. So three inches. Line B, closest to the six. Six inches. Line C, five inches. Line D, four inches. Line E is a little bit more than half halfway, so we're gonna say it's we're gonna call it two inches. And then line F, a lot closer to three than four, so we'll call it three. And line G, a little more than one, but we'll call it one. It's a lot closer to one than it is to two. One inch. One inch. Okay, now let's look at the table and see how many we can count for which categories. These are our categories. Lines that are shorter than four. We can't count four for these because it has to be less than four. So that doesn't include four. So that's either one, two, or three. So shorter than four, there's one of them. That's longer, that's longer, that's the same, so it's not shorter. So that's one, two, three, four. There's four, one, two, three, four lines shorter than four inches. How many are longer than four inches? Uh, six inches is one of them. Five inches is also longer than four. That's the same, that's less, that's less, and that's less. So we're done marking the ones that are four. How many are equal to four inches? Uh, 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 just that one. And now our table's all filled in. How many more lines are shorter than four inches than equal to four inches? So how many lines, how many more lines are short, shorter than four inches? There's four of those. And how many are equal to four inches? There's only one of those. So how many more is four than one? Three. And what is it we're counting? We're counting lines. So it's three lines. Three lines. What is the difference between the number of lines that are shorter than four inches? So difference between difference between the numbers. So we're subtracting. Lines that are shorter than four inches, that's four. And those that are longer than four inches, there are two of those. So we're trying to figure out four minus two. The difference between these is two lines. And then we make up our own question here. Ask and answer one comparison question that could be answered using the data above. So the question, uh, let's see, equal to four inches. So these categories are kind of hard to work with. Um, Question could be, um, which set of lines has 
is actually it says right here we're like talking about line length which line length so let's call it line length which line length has the least number of lines and that would be equal to four inches as the least or just say equal has the least.